हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई न्यू डाटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एलगोरिथम इन जावा ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज वीडियो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड एन एथ नोट फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ द लिंक लिस्ट इन जावा सो फ्रेंड्स गिवन अ लिंक लिस्ट एंड अ वैल्यू ऑफ एन वी नीड टू फाइंड द एन एथ नोट फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ द लिस्ट इफ सपोज दिस इज द लिंक लिस्ट हैविंग द नोट्स एज टेन एट वन इलेवन एंड फिफ्टीन सो दे आर टोटल फाइव नोट्स and the given the value of n is equal to 2 so it means we have to find the second node from the end of the list so if you see the second node from the end of the list is say 1 2 so 11 is the second node from the end of the list so if this is the input then you can see the output would be the second node from the end which is 11 now let's see the demo of the algorithm and it's working so friends here is the link list having The node says ten, eight, one, eleven, and fifteen. And suppose we are given the value of n is two. It means we have to find the second node from the end of the list. Here you can see that this is the algorithm for it. So let's see the demo of the algorithm. So first we'll create a main pointer which will be pointing to the head. And if you see the head points to the first node, therefore there would be a main pointer which will point to the first node moving ahead now we'll create a reference pointer which will also point to the head so this is the reference pointer which will point to the first node we will create an integer variable by name count and we'll assign a value 0 to it so currently count is 0 so friends the idea behind this algorithm is in order to find the nth node from the end of the list what we'll do we have taken these two pointers both of which are pointing to head so if we take the reference pointer we'll make this reference pointer to move n positions so when this reference pointer has traversed the n positions then we'll move main pointer reference pointer together till reference pointer encounters null so when the reference pointer will encounter null the main pointer would be the nth position from the end of the list So let's see how this algorithm works when the value of n is 2. So currently this while loop will work till the value of count is less than n. So currently if you see the value of n is 2 and the count is 0. Therefore the count is less than n. So it will execute the while loop. And now we will just traverse the reference pointer to its next position. So here he will assign the reference pointer's next value to the reference pointer. so reference pointer points to the first node and its next point to the second node therefore we'll assign the reference pointer next value to the reference pointer so it will look something like this moving ahead we'll increment the value of count and now again this while loop will execute because count is less than n and similarly will move the reference pointer to its next that is assigning the reference pointer next value to the reference pointer and then we'll increment the value of count so now count becomes 2 so now the value of count is not less than n if you see the value of n is 2 and count is 2 and 2 is not less than 2 therefore the condition in while loop is comes out to be false therefore the while loop breaks out and our execution reaches the second while loop so at this point the reference pointer has moved the two positions from the head and in this while loop what we'll do will move both pointers the reference pointer and the main pointer together till reference pointer encounters the null value so the condition inside it would be this while loop will execute till reference pointer is not equal to null so currently the reference pointer is not equal to null therefore the condition in while loop comes out to be true so first we'll simply traverse the reference pointer to its next value moving ahead and now we'll move the main pointer to its next value so we'll assign the main pointer's next value to the main pointer
again the reference pointer is not equal to null so this while loop will execute it will traverse the reference pointer to its next value and similarly we will move the main pointer to its next value that is by assigning the main pointer's next value to the main pointer so again this while loop condition will be evaluated and you can see the reference pointer is not equal to null therefore this while loop will execute now reference pointer will move to its next value and similarly the main pointer will move to its next value so now once again the boolean value in the while loop will be evaluated and currently if you see the reference pointer points to the null therefore the condition in while loop comes out to be false and this while loop breaks and finally if you see the main pointer is at the second position from the end of the list therefore we'll return the main pointer because this is the second node from the end of the list so friends this was the demonstration of the algorithm let's move to eclipse and see it's working so friends in my previous tutorial i have created this singly linked list class having an instance variable which stores the head and having an inner class which is the list node if you want to see it's working then you can watch my previous tutorials so so in this tutorial we'll write a method which will fetch the nth node from the end of the list so first we'll create a method and the return type of it would be list node let's say we give the name of the method at get nth node from end so this method will be taking a value of n now first we'll check if head is null then just return null then we'll check that if let's say value of n is less than equal to 0 so a value of n is less than equal to 0 then we can throw an exception say throw new we can throw illegal illegal argument exception and we'll pass the string as say invalid value and equals moving ahead so first we'll create a list node having name as main pointer and we'll assign the value of head to it Similarly, we'll create another node which is the reference pointer and we'll assign the value of head to it. Then we'll create a integer variable count having value as 0. Now we'll create the while loop which we saw in the slide. So while and we'll give condition as count to be less than n and we'll simply traverse the reference pointer to its next value that is we'll assign the reference pointer next to reference pointer and we'll increment the count by one and here now let's say suppose the linked list has three nodes and if we provide the value of n as say five therefore this reference pointer might reach to a null value so before this we can even if we can check that if if reference pointer is null then we can simply throw an exception we can throw an illegal argument exception we can give a string as n is greater than the number of 
notes in list so here if suppose reference pointer comes out to be null then the value of n is surely greater than the num total number of nodes in the list moving ahead we'll create another while loop and in this while loop we'll provide the condition as ref pointer should not be equals to null and we'll simply and here we'll simply assign the reference pointer next value to the reference pointer and we'll traverse the main pointer to its next value and finally we'll just return the main pointer because this will be pointing to the nth node from the end of the list so if you see that this is the code for getting the nth node from the end of the list and if you go to the main method then I here then here there is a list having 5 nodes with the value as 10, 8, 1, 11, 15 and if I run this it will print the list so here it's 10, 8, 1, 11, 15 so there are total 5 number of nodes so let's say if I do nth node so I've just created a list node by the name nth node from end and if I call this method get nth node from end and if I pass the value as say 2 and if I print and here if I print at nth node from end is dot data so now if I run the program you can see it prints 11 because 11 is the second node from the end of the list and suppose if I provide the value as say negative value say minus 1 then it throws an exception saying that illegal argument exception say invalid value of n which is equals to minus 1 and suppose the total number of nodes are 5 and if I give the value of 6 which and I want it 6 node from the end of the list and if I run this so you can see it will throw illegal argument exception saying that 6 is greater than the number of nodes in the list so friends this was the working of the algorithm which we saw in the slide hope you like this video Please like, comment, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks, have a nice day.